think it's Eric Stubenick they're going to be putting out there. They did have Jude Wrestling JV matches here Warriors earlier. All right, here we go. This is, uh, like I said, this is a JV match. This is not varsity for those of you watching. No, they're, they're here, they're hunts. Steven Dick's got the takedown and into a cradle right away, and that's a pretty quick pin. getting set up here so if uh, you're having a hard time hearing us or um, picture just give us a minute or two we're just getting set up another JV match one of my favorite wrestlers on the team Ben Draveling and I'm not sure who they're going to put out, but we'll find out for a second. Well, good to be here with you tonight, Leo. Jeff, glad to have you. A couple headset problems, but I think we've overcome that. Underway. Ben's getting good uh, front head control. Yeah, he's trying to turn that corner. Yep. No points yet, but he's got him locked up to cradle. See if he can turn him. Looks like he's secured two. About 40 seconds in the first period. Two nothing, Hudson. Trying to sit out on bottom. Hudson back with a half and a wrist. Oh, nice return by Ben. About 45 seconds left. Hudson's still in control. Two nothing. Looks like a point for an escape here. 30 seconds left and uh, Hudson's trying to score here. Rice Lake shoots and that's two points takedown. Three to two, 20 seconds left in the first period, Rice Lake. Okay, see if Ben can get one here. Yeah, it'd be good if he could get a point here. 10 seconds left. Just gotta solve the problem of getting that wrist free. Well, at the end of the first uh, period, three to two, favor of Rice Lake. It is Rice Lake's choice. They are going to choose down. Ben did a pretty good job of uh, riding him. We'll see what he can do here. Up to his feet quick. And back to the mat. Pretty decent mat return. Pretty good following so far. Fought off uh, one escape attempt here. See if he can Turn him with that half Nelson, looks pretty tight. Key is to have that other side wrist and doesn't look like he has that secured quite. With the new rules here, he's got a lot of room to pin on on that edge. Yes, he does, and as long as he's smart with it. Right him tight, uh, about 50 seconds gone in the second period here. 
Hudson on top in control with a half in. If Ben could keep stretching them out. Yep, he's just got to stay tough and keep riding them hard. And don't let the pressure up. and it's, it's coming pretty good here. And it's yeah, that pretty tight. pretty deep right now. Yeah. So still 3-2. Three, three, no score yet in the second. 30 seconds remaining. They're going to start up. Rice Lake gets one point there. So it's four to two. In favor of Rice Lake. I'm not sure that either of these are 138 pounders. I think they have that wrong on the on the scoreboard here. You can't see it, but they have them listed as uh, 38, and uh, I don't think that's that's the case. I think more like 45. Yep. A little break for headgear correction here. So uh, Hudson uh, comes in pretty hard. Bryce Leakes gets uh, called for stalling for backing off. Both, both wrestlers uh, fighting for control here. Ten seconds left, and Ben's trying to secure a takedown. Yeah, it'd be good to get two here. Yeah. Bit of a scramble. Yeah, big scramble there, yeah. and no oh. points. Good flurry of action. So end of two, four to two, Rice Lakes winning. Hudson gets choice, they choose down. Hudson's trying to work out here. Rice Lake uh, not really doing anything. Just looks like he's trying to mat return him. Yeah, if Ben can just get to his feet and get oh. one. Well, this is going to help. Yeah, a little locked hands. That's a point. Very important point there. And he's going to give him another one. So we're all tied up. Yeah, he's going to go take down here. Four tied up, four all. Minute 40 left in the third. And uh, quick takedown there. No points yet. Hudson's trying to ankle pass here. We'll see what happens. It was yep. a good shot by uh, Rice get Lake. A get his shoulders high. Yep, yep, we're gonna score here. And there is two points for, uh, for uh, Hudson. Six to four. It's well done by Draveling. Yep. Good scramble. It was a great scramble by both wrestlers, actually. Yeah, good shot by the Rice Lake wrestler. Yep. Good level change. He was in pretty deep on that double. But Ben's got him in a little trouble here. Yep. 50 seconds left. Ben's going for the arm bar. He's got a far wrist. If he can secure this and ride it out, he'll win. Um, 40 seconds. It's, it's far from over right now. Still plenty of time for something to happen. Sure trying to turn him with that arm bar. 30 seconds left. Yep, My guess is there's going to be another flurry here coming up. These guys are both getting tired. Ben can uh, keep that tight. 15 seconds. That's awfully tight, but Rice Lake sure is fighting hard. Yep. Ben's he's sure riding tough, which and is that's good. That's how this one's going to end. 6 4, traveling. Nice match by uh, Ben Dravlin there. All right. 
Next up, they're gonna have uh, Marta Jap Jasperson and uh, Brendan, or I'm sorry, uh, Taylor Schultz. All right, good to see Wubermans wrestling growing. It is actually the best thing for our sport. Marta nice with a nice, uh, nice uh, high crotch there, Firemans. So that's two nothing right away. Marta. Thirty seconds gone by in the first. In control. We're gonna bring it back to the center and start again. Yeah, Marta comes out for a front head and get under hook there. She's got that pretty locked up pretty tight. Getting near fall right now. About a minute left, a little over a minute left in the first period. See if she can bring this home for a pin. Definitely is going to keep getting tighter. And there's a fall for Mother Jasperson. Yeah. First well period. Your winner by Ted Mara Jasperson. And I think here we go. We're going to get started with uh, Varsity, don't you think? I believe so. This looks like Carter Schultz for Rice Lake. Uh, six pounder last year. Regional champion, if I remember. Got AJ Hen for Hudson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the team scoring the pounds. And I think these two met in the duel last year. Both wrestlers just uh, fighting for hand and head control. Collar ties, feeling each other out right now. 20 seconds gone by, they're gonna bring it back to the middle. Score zero, zero. Shot by uh, Rice Lake. I think Schultz is currently ranked uh, sixth or seventh in division two. Be a good win for AJ if he can pull it out here. Yeah. Rice Lake's trying to, trying to get that single leg. AJ's fighting it off pretty good. Gonna start fresh here. About a minute left in this first. Ref is letting him wrestle on the edge of the mat here, see what happens. He's gonna bring him back to the center here. Forty seconds left in the match in the first period, and uh, still no score. They're gonna come back to the center again. Thurso's doing a good job of circling in the middle. Neither one is really getting pushed around. And both these guys are pretty square right now. Not a lot of offense is gonna come from the stances. Yeah. Yeah, they're both uh, nice attempt by AJ. Five seconds left and no takedown.
So end of the first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Rice Lake looks like uh, they have choice. They're going to take down. AJ likes to throw legs in. Yeah. And uh, that's definitely what he's trying to do right now. He's comfortable with those in. He's a little bit taller for, uh, for 106, but there's that half Nelson with that wrist. Well, and really he nice is uh, a little bit high, half. but if he can stretch him out. Rice Lake trying some defense with some legs, hopping over. Yeah, it might be trying to hip across. Yep, AJ's got to be careful here. Could be getting two if he's... Sweet. 40 seconds left, 40 seconds gone by. No points yet by either wrestler. Kind of in a scramble situation here. AJ's doing a good job keeping that head buried. Yeah. And, and there goes those the two. A little bit out of position there, and uh, Rice Lake ends up with two points. Team score is 0-0 uh, yet. Haven't had any uh, anybody uh, come through with a win. About 30 seconds in the second period. And get a restart in the center here for AJ. This looks like to be a pretty good matchup. We got 20 seconds, switch. 20 seconds left. AJ Hen trying to get out, trying, trying for a switch here. He's close. Rice Lake's doing a good job of fighting it off. And we're going to end this second at 2-0, favor Rice Lake. So it's Hutchins' choice. He's going to pick both up. And now it's up to him to, uh, to get the takedown. Both wrestlers circling. AJ trying uh, a head throw basically and basically slips by. So four to nothing, 20 seconds gone by in the third period. AJ Hen's got to get to work now. He's got to start with an escape or reversal and work it from there. Yep, 4-0. He just got to try to get his shoulders up here. Or gonna get a stalling call. Yep. Yep, he's got to definitely work up. Rice Lake doing a good job of wrist control, it looks like, and in tight waist, going for some kind of arm bar. And at some point here, we might get a stall against Rice Lake. Yep. Let's get those hips covered. But he's uh, got both oh. arms locked up. Yep, this is, this could be trouble. This could be trouble. This is hard to get out of. AJ's doing a good job fighting off. So far, no, no back points. About 35 seconds left in the third period. AJ definitely needs, needs some points here, but. Get a potentially dangerous call. Might have got a lucky break there. Going to bring him back to center and start. Off the whistle, no points. Looks like Rice Lake's content to ride here. It is. He's got the pressure on and not giving him any room to move. So without separation, you can't get out. Here, here, here. 
Well, Rush Lake takes that one by a uh, score of uh, four to nothing, I believe it was. Um, four zero decision. Yep. Yep. And uh, three uh, team points. It's like Riley Stelzer is going to pick up of a forfeit here. So that's uh, Riley Stelzer. He's winning with a four point forfeit. That's six team points. Does look like there's going to be quite a few uh, points given up for forfeits by forfeits uh, tonight by Rice Lake. And looks like Jacob Fang is going to get a forfeit at 120. So Rice Lake started off good with a win, and now they're uh, giving up forfeits. So that's uh, 12, 12 points in forfeits so far. We got Graham Anderson. Jacob Surik for Rice Lake, uh, pretty good wrestler. He's had some good seasons. Jacob, uh, he's a he's a junior, where Graham is a freshman. Yep, Graham's a freshman. Gotten some varsity reps this year. It's always hard when a, a freshman cracks the lineup and then uh, has to wrestle upperclassmen. Uh, Rice Lake's got it. Uh, got yeah, Graham on his back right away. Looking like it's pretty tight, and we got a minute 30 left in the first period. Grandma able to get out of that uh, near fall position, but he's uh, getting turned right back into it now. So, Graham's back on his belly. Rice Lake uh, gets three more points. That's uh, five to nothing. And right back to a half. So. Oh, that's tight. That, it is tight. They're on the Graham's edge of the doing mat. A good job Graham fighting. Is definitely fighting. But that is tight. I've seen Graham wrestle a few times this year. He's, he's tough, he's hard to pin. 37 seconds left in the first period. Seven to nothing. Graham sits out, comes back uh, to the referee, and now uh, Rice Lake is going to work trying to secure an arm, maybe a wrist right now again. Twenty seconds left in the first period. And Rice Lake again has a wrist and uh, going for a half. Yeah, trying to trying to get to his feet. Hudson's choice. And they deferred and Rice Sykes choosing top. So seven to nothing, Rice Lake. See what Graham can put together here. Perhaps a Bit of a surprise in that choice, but uh, you know, maybe Rice liked what, liked what they saw. Yeah. He's back into that at half. About 30 seconds gone by here. In the second, Rice Lake uh, on top in control, fighting for fighting for uh, wrists and arms, and looks like he might have something locked up here. And he's uh, 
Got Graham going to his back, and this is going to be a bad, bad position, hard to get out of for Graham. Got a minute left. Yeah, he's got a grapevine in there. It's going to be tight. Yep. I'm sure doing a, a good job of fighting. And that is a fall for Rice Lake. 48 seconds left in the second period. So that's, that brings a team score of 9 to 12. In favor of Hudson. We get Elliot Johnson for Hudson. Demarius King for Rice Lake, I believe. Oh, I correct. Rayshon Deacon. So we got Elliot Johnson. He's a. What is That's he? That's a junior. He's a junior, and we got a sophomore going. He's got a takedown right away. Well, we take that back. Rice Lake getting on legs, but yep. good scramble, and Johnson gets to two. Yeah, Johnson's a real athletic kid. He's working a cradle here. Well, he's got a cradle locked up here. He's got two points already. He's got to be careful here not to get out of position, but definitely looks like he could get a fall here. Yeah, that just got tight. And there it is. Elliot Johnson with a fall in the first period. So to make the team score 16 to 9 in favor of your Raiders. Next up is Bryce Hungsberger for uh, Hudson. And we got, uh, I think, Demarius King on this one. Looks like Demarius is one of the three seniors on this team. Bryce is also a senior. And there's a headlock attempt by Bryce. Both wrestlers fighting for control here, and uh, Bryce is able to. Yeah, he, he, he does he, get that headlock. He's got he's it. Got he's got two. two point takedown, but he's he, uh, still got it in he's there. not giving that up. That's uh, Bryce does a good job of locking that up, and that is a pin in uh, 23 seconds. Next up will be Leo Draveling for Hudson. And I believe they'll have uh, Aiden Drost for Rice Lake. And Leo coming off a big week at St. Croix Falls. Yes, it was, uh, it was fun to watch. Wrestled yep. really well. Beat a defending state champion, undefeated. Good tournament for Leo. Pretty exciting stuff. As, uh, Pretty short list of folks who have beat a state champ. Yes. And that is a takedown. Okay. With a duck under. He's uh, getting some takedowns here. Double on the nice edge of the job. mat. Staying in. About uh, 40 seconds gone by here, and uh, Draveling uh, ends up with a pin here about uh, 40 seconds into the match. It's another six points for Hudson. Team score will be 30 to nine. Draveling chasing that pin record now. He's getting awfully close. What does he need? Four. Four pins. That sounds like uh, tomorrow night and uh, regional championship. Pin our way through.
Looks like maybe after after the match here, we might have um, we might have some interviews from uh, some of the wrestlers. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm not exactly sure who they're going to send up to us, but it's always interesting to hear what they have to say. Um, so get us a 160 here, Peter Hansen for Hudson Jr. And I suspect we're going to see Torian Hubbard for Rice Lake. Peter's also coming off a pretty good week. He uh, ended up winning up at uh, St. Croix Falls last week. I didn't catch the Warriors wrestler's name. Might have been Aiden Drost uh, going up a weight class. The handsome work in the front head. Peter looking for a takedown here. About 40 seconds gone by in the period and uh, looks like he's well in control. He's just uh, feeling, feeling his opponent out. Riding top. See what he wants to do, if he's gonna try and turn him or if he's gonna cut him for a takedown. Pretty good snap down by Peter. Yeah. Peter's pretty tough on his feet, so he's fun to watch, uh, especially in the first period. Yeah, he's got a really fluid high C. A lot of guys don't even know what's happening until he's in on it pretty deep. Yeah, it was fun watching him uh, perfect that coming up uh, through the youth practices. So four to two, 30 seconds to go in the first period. Hudson's up. Looking for maybe another takedown here. That's two points right on the edge of the mat. I think uh, coach wants uh, coach wants them to go neutral. So six to three. Rice Lake shoots. Yeah, shot attempt for Rice Lake. Handsome with two. Pete ends up with a two point take down there. The end of first, uh, eight to three is the score. Wrestlers start on their feet, and Rice Lake again right in on attack. He does have a Pretty deep single. Hanson's gonna try to pass an ankle here. Uh, he's back in better position now. And this is pretty tight. And this right into a half. Might be the match here. And that is. So 20 seconds into the second period, Pete Hanson wins with a, with a pin. We do have one of uh, Rice Lake's Better wrestlers coming up here, Carter Paulson. He's a he's a senior, wrestling uh, Brady Pachinski. I believe Paulson was uh, ranked second coming into this week, fourth at the state tournament last year. Yep. Tough wrestler. He is. I uh, I watched him uh, during the summer over at uh, Crass, and uh, he definitely put in some work this summer. So hopefully it pays off for him here at the end of the year. Brady Przinski for Hudson. Um, Brady's up like a couple weight classes here. Yes. Typically, uh, Brady wrestles about 52, so yep. definitely probably, giving up some weight. Probably drank a Gatorade on the scale just to get up to 60 tonight. Yep. So Carter in, Carter in control, Brady definitely fighting back though. Ends up with an uh, arm bar though and a wrist and this could get tight really quick for Brady. 45 seconds gone by in the first period and 
Near fall is going to get awarded. Brady's able to. Oh, Carter keeps bringing it back. Good, good job by Brady fighting off his back. He can be a pretty exciting wrestler in the first period. Yeah. Five nothing, in favor of Rice Lake. Carter's trying to get a tilt here, and he is. He's. Uh, I don't think he's going to pin him here, but he's going to get two back points. Yeah, picked up some near fall. Seven zero for Rice Lake. It's a good roll attempt by uh, yeah. Prenchinski. This might just be uh, where Carter is a little bit too big for Brady to handle. So. Brady did a good job of rolling with him. So that is a win at uh, 170 for Rice Lake. Team score is uh, 15 to 42. Rice Lake hasn't done too bad with, uh, with the wrestlers that they put on the mat. Looks like Hank's going to come up here. We might have uh, forfeits here. Yeah, I believe we got a forfeit for Rice Lake. Your winner at 182 pounds by a forfeit, Hank Gerke. Hank looked pretty happy about that win. Smiling. Yes. Pretty stoked about it. But it uh, looks like... Uh, Looks like another uh, forfeit here for Ben Steltzner. At 195. I believe we got a forfeit at uh, 220 as well for Ryan Rambo. I don't see Rice Lake sending the wrestler. So we're gonna round out the night with another forfeit here at heavyweight, unfortunately. Um, so Quinton, Quinton Brash? Yeah, Quinton Bratch is gonna receive a forfeit. And your winner at the heavyweight by forfeit, Quinton Bratch. So the, the match score is gonna end up being, is it 66 to 15? Which, um, majority of those points came off of That's forfeits, good. but uh, 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 they split the matches. So when it came to wrestling, um, they didn't do too bad of a job, pretty lopsided, but it's uh, it's not really a good reflection of it. So yeah, hard to come over overcome those four if it's for Rice Lake. Yeah. Tomorrow uh, Hudson's going to be uh, in action. Uh, they get a pretty cool opportunity to uh, go down to UW Lacrosse, and they're going to wrestle alongside UW Lacrosse as they're wrestling Luther College, and um, they're going to wrestle Holman. So. Should be a pretty good uh, night of wrestling for him. Holman is ranked uh, number ninth in the state, so it's going to be a good matchup. Yeah, neat form. Right? Get college and high school wrestling side by side. So we got. Uh, looks like we're gonna have Hank, Gergi, and Ben Steltzner here. Let them in the booth a little bit uh, squished here. So give us a second, and we'll get them. Uh, we'll get them involved. So I got. I got Ben Steltzner here. Uh, we want to know, are you pretty disappointed that the King Cold dance got rescheduled to the same date as the Holman Duel? Uh, not really. I mean, kind of a big dance guy myself, but uh, at the same time, I'm not that good at dancing. And, and I guess with that, then, what does your girlfriend say about that, Ben? Uh, she's pretty mad. Pretty mad. Senior year, yeah. She wants yeah, to go. Yeah, she's going to miss the dance. Yeah. No, uh, Kira's, uh, Kira's one of the managers, so um, she's been a big help this year. So, anything else, Ben? What's the what's highlight of this year for you so far? Um, I don't know. Probably when Jacob uh, Hansen at the last tournament, he had that underhook with a knee pick on Garrett Borth. And Garrett jumped. Jacob just swept them right to his back. And uh, he could have been him right there. But it was just like the most exciting thing. It was a thriller match. And just all the parents were screaming, coaches screaming, blood time every five seconds for the last 20 seconds. It's just fun to watch. Yeah, no, I know Coach said that that's a tough tournament. And um, 
It is, and uh, there's a lot of good wrestling last weekend, so I agree. Yeah. So, well, hey, appreciate you coming up. Um, I'm gonna let Hank step, step yep. in here next. Sounds good. So, Hank, um, got a question for you here. Uh, you guys do mindset tra training every week. Tell me what the four mindset principles are. Um, the first wrestling mindset pr principle is um, uh, always thankful for the opportunity to wrestle. And then the second one is aggressive and relentless. And the third one, uh, <laughs> the third one, one is um, no pressure. Which? No pressure. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. The third one is. Um, goodness. Um, the fourth one is uh, never ever ever give up. And then the third one is. I have no It'll idea. come. It'll come. So hey, what's a what's a highlight uh, of the season for you? Um. Hmm. That's a hard one. Um. Probably my match, my finals match at St. Croix Falls. Okay. Even though I lost, I thought I did really good because last year I seemed, I faced the same person. Um, but this year, I took him down, which I'm the only kid to do this year. Um, and then uh, I reversed him like three times, and uh, I thought I did really good compared to last year. Um, yeah, I thought I did yeah. and growed way. I would agree. Way more. Uh, Trent Jules, he's ranked number one in the state, defending state champ. So you did. You wrestled tough, and that is a tough tournament up there. So mm -hmm. uh, you should be proud of that. So good job. Yep. Thanks. All right. Thank you, uh, wrestling fans. We'll uh, maybe see you tomorrow.